what up you guys so today is a quick little um story time maybe vlog, vlog. um i want to talk to you guys about something that happened to our fur baby lola if you guys don't know i have a shih tzu and she is seven years old her birthday just passed in september so basically on friday night around 10 i noticed that she had um no she wasn't feeling well she didn't eat her food and then she started to throw up and then i was like okay and then she started to go in places around the house that she don't normally go to so i knew something was wrong so yesterday morning when we woke up we did find on her wee wee pad we do leave a wee pad at night just in case because sometimes she drinks a lot of water at night and then she has to pee even though um, hubby over here, Alex, because I didn't say his name on my, my cute, the cute, the, not the q and I'm sorry, the video that we did, the tag video, so, this is Alex, guys, um, <laughs> and he's driving, he's going to be talking to because, and telling what happened because, um, he actually took Lola yesterday to, um, the vet. On the weebie pad. Um, we saw that there was some blood now my dog is not spayed um, let me take hands off. Um, so I don't know why I'm getting nervous talking about it now babe so so basically Lola's not spayed something that we knew we had to do but we took it for granted why as she was uh, getting older we even had some family members who had some experience with issues with their dog for not being spayed so basically Saturday we woke up there was blood on the wee pad and uh, a couple other signs she was moping even in her face itself the you can see something was wrong so I, of course she called me I think I was out and about already running around or something doing something I ended up taking her to a vet in Queens um, which is a whole nother story for a different day but ended up that she was diagnosed with pyometria it's uh, an infection in the uterus so what I've read up and what I've been told it's something that happens when dogs are in spade and the dog starts to um, create a lot of estrogen and creating tumors and other issues uh, Lola was diagnosed with an open pyometri antibiotics could have helped but at the end of the day it could have ended up worse me and crystal were not gonna be able to explain to our three kids that our dog wasn't coming home so that wasn't an option i ended up taking her out of that veterinarian doctor uh private because the the amount of money was insane i would do anything for our, i think we would do anything for our dog but not at at a at an expense where it would hurt everything that we have to do. So we do a lot of research, and that's one thing that me and Crystal are really good at, Google and everything else. And we ended up finding this place that cut the price like five, six hundred dollars extra. No. Away, uh, uh, yeah. Taken away. Taken away. Um, um, interrupt you real quick. When he did take her to the vet, they did x-rays, so gave us antibiotic. We got her started on that. That helped her so much because, uh, just to rewind a little bit, last night, midnight, she started to eat. I was happy about that. And also peed on the wee, -wee pad when, uh, before that she wasn't. She was actually, couldn't really hold her pee. She was peeing every kind of like everywhere because she couldn't control it so yeah so the antibiotics did help and we also had some x-rays done on her so that was done and then we came home with the dog we did some research we called a few numbers and um, spoke to a few other people we called ASPCA um, unfortunately they didn't have a an appointment soon as we had we needed it the, ne the next appointment they had was Friday and she basically said we need to see her right away like within the next day or two finally we found this kind of like the ASPCA mobile truck but it's not it's the ASPCA people actually referred us to them they were awesome so we wind up going there this morning Sunday this morning we, we went and we spoke to the manager actually last night he basically told us to come at 10 to the mobile bus and uh, she'll be seen right away and then figure out what, what's going to happen. The reason why we're telling this story to you guys to inform you, you know, if anything like this were to happen or 
for people who don't know or people who even do know like ourselves we knew we should have had spaded her we should have done that a long time ago and we would have never gone through this situation but um, it is what it is you know you just gotta move forward but for any of you guys who don't know we strongly strongly advise you to spade your dog spade your animals you guys just do it because it's the best thing for their health it's the best thing for you also to in the long run financially because when it's an emergency situation like that it it, it needs to be done you know so spay and neutered if you have no intentions on breeding your dog and try not to breed them there's so many dogs in the world that need a home you know adopt 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 don't shop because that that's the best thing you know there's so many dogs that need home cats that need home birds that need home so try to avoid buying and just adopt if you're in the New York City area, I'm gonna give him a shout out. I don't know if Crystal really does a lot of shout outs, but lowcostvet.org. Uh, Let me see if I make sure I'll I say I'll leave it, it right. down here, if anything, but yes. if you wanna repeat it. She'll leave it. the link, definitely. Okay. Yeah, lowcostvet.org. Um, the experience with them, amazing. Amazing. The, the young lady that helped us at the truck, amazing. Uh, the doctor that's doing the surgery on Lola today, as you know, we haven't finished the whole story, but oh. she's in surgery today. They're basically doing a hysterectomy on her completely to remove her uterus, and then we wouldn't, we were not gonna have this issue uh, ever again. From the moment we got there, it, they they spoke to Lola, which is one of our children, our Thanks. the love of my life. Uh, like she was one of theirs, baby this and baby that. And it's an amazing experience and they will work with you. They yeah. will work with you. So as of right now, Lola's still in surgery. We haven't gotten a call yet to see if she has gotten out of surgery. It's been a very long weekend, you guys, and a little tough. Definitely tough. We have a strong family, a strong support cast, All right? And little mama's coming home tomorrow. And she's gonna give me a whole bunch of kisses. And she's coming with a big cone around her neck. So it'll be funny to watch her bump into things. So that'll be the cute thing. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions or anything, I know we didn't go into too much detail um, just because um, it's just a lot. So uh, maybe I can do another video. We can do another video. Maybe, uh, maybe like an update video on her. And I Definitely. can show you guys. Um, how she is I'll record I'll leave some pictures here if you guys want to see how she looks before the surgery and um, hopefully when I upload this video I already have her in my possession and then I can show you uh, the most recent picture I, I take you know I, I've taken from picking her up or whatever I just I cannot wait to have her in my arms again make sure to give us a thumbs up leave us some comments down below any suggestions Feel free to talk to us down there. Um, any experiences any that you experiences, guys have had? Yeah. Spay, neuter your dog. Very, very important. Yeah. Very, very important. For you, your dog's life, your kid's life, you know, um, very, very important. I just want to say thank you to all our family, though. Our family. Oh, my God. There are definitely... Um, Heaven sent angels. Oh, you read my mind. I was going to say angels. And um, I don't know what I would do without my family, to be honest. Uh, I have the best family out there, I must say. Agreed. Um, so, so that's about it for now, you guys. So we will keep you posted for sure. Keep Lola in your prayers, you guys. Uh, give your fur babies kisses and hugs because you never know what can happen.